he told me that I had to really like being around water a little bit or it probably wasn't going to work. <laughs> so he was, he was fairly blunt about it. So I first started laking in uh, about 1964, 65, um, with uh, my grandparents had a, first we had a little place in um, Lake James, northeastern Indiana. We immediately moved from that place to a, a Hamilton Lake for a couple of years. Then they bought a cottage up at a little lake called Posey Lake, which is about, oh, maybe 50 to 60 miles west of Detroit. Small little lake, it's got three islands in it, it's one-way lake, all the boats go around one way, really safe lake for skiing, boating, that kind of stuff. And so I was about six or seven years old when we got to that lake, immediately started skiing there. Um, we All the kids started skiing five, six years old. But you can only do it from Memorial Day to Labor Day. You got three months, so you got to get it all in because that's all you get. I've been a pilot for over 40 years. So, uh, matter of fact, I just renewed my flight instructor certificate for the 19th time. You renew it every two years, so I've renewed it 19 times. So that gives you experience. But um, I started in the Air Force, and um, then I went on to uh, the, the air traffic control strike happened in 1981, so I became an air traffic controller. So then I had the pilot background and the air traffic control background. And I retired out of the FAA after 37 years, um, just three years ago. So as you start meeting people and realize there's a lot of other pilots, I even met a couple of retired air traffic controllers that were also on Lake Martin too when we were at the condo. Um, but I, Paige put together a, an open house at an aviator's house. I think he was retired American Airlines captain, like old, old retired several years ago. And um, really nice house over in the Willows. We went over there, Roxanne and I both went over there to spend some time with um, about 10 to 15 fellow aviators. We had looked at some lakes in Georgia since we lived in the Atlanta area and some of them were out of our price range. One of them in particular we did like and we had friends that lived on that lake and we did spend a couple weekends looking at homes there. Hard, hard to get super excited about some of the things we saw so um, we did almost purchase a home there but the, the water clarity was kind of an issue for us and we just sort of tabled the issue and decided to keep looking and then um, how did you hear about somebody lake recommended me if you want a really clean lake go to Lake Martin somebody at the FAA maybe mm -hmm. so Mark checked it out while I was in Texas and um, just fell in love with it just fell in love with it called me and said I have found the lake this is it so I'm surprised he didn't buy something. That Paige weekend. wouldn't let me. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, <laughs> we went out looking for a house. We wanted to find a house that we could fix up, get into for the right price we were looking at. And uh, every, it seemed like every time we looked at a house, the houses need a lot of work. And we were talking to some friends of ours that build a house over in the Stillwaters area and getting coaching by them about what's the budget, what kind of property to buy and stuff, or what lot to look for. So we talked to Paige about, hey, we'd really like to look for a lot. And we were driving up in this area, in Shady Bay area, in Manoy Creek, looking at houses, and she goes, how about if I re run you guys by this lot I know over here? It's lot three. It's a sleeper lot, what she told us. Well, I was really excited about building a house. I had done it once before. And it was a very, a very simple, basic house, so it wasn't much of a project. But I was excited to build something that was just right for us. And I knew it would be a good experience. I'm an optimist. You know, I just expected it to be great. I, I really liked Will. I immediately felt like we liked the same look and we liked the same style. And he seemed very creative and very analytical at the same time. And I like that combination, and so I just really thought it would be a lot of fun. And again, I'm an optimist, so I assume everything's going to go fine. <laughs> and of course it didn't. Weather was an issue a lot for us, but overall it was a great experience, I think. At the same time, when we were going to buy the house, because remember originally we were going to buy a house, she was going to be our realtor. As it happens, she finds this a lot. 
she actually went above and beyond because she she changed it from being a house and didn't try to talk us out of us. She knew we would now want to find a lot and she found us the lot to be able to build this.